Hi guys, it's Miss Ulrich again. I'm going to be showing you guys today. Um, I'm going to be going over our um, second checklist. So we're going to want to go to Google Classroom and go to April 20th. So this is next week and then the following week after. So pull up this checklist or if you have it in person, it's this pur not purple, pinky orange color. So pull this up and follow along. I'm going to pull it up on here. All right. So um, what color do I want to use? Um, blue. Okay. So for next week, um, we're going to start lesson 25. That's fractions. That's tenths and hundredths. So there is a video on Google Classroom that um, kind of gives you a little bit more help. It looks like this, um, lesson 25. So if you are seeing that you're struggling with that lesson, go ahead and do this tutorial video on Google Classroom. So that's there. Um, and then number two, Thursday of next week, um, you're going to start pages 517 to 522. Um, you don't have to wait until Thursday. If you're ahead of the game and you want to start, that's fine. But I wouldn't start these pages for less than 25 anytime after Thursday, the 23rd. Um, and then, yeah, more pages that take you up until Monday of next two weeks from now. Um, and then Tuesday, the 28th, you should be taking that lesson 25 quiz. So that's all in here. Here's lesson 25. And then, um, after that, you have your math facts. So me and Ms. B, we attached more for you guys. Time yourself, and if a parent is watching you and you get 100%, um, they'll sign below on the checklist, and then um, you could possibly get big four. And then everybody else, if you are able to get on Wednesday and Thursday, you need to be doing 30 to 60 minutes of My Path on I Ready. A lot of you are not doing it, so we need to step it up. Um, like take a break on the TikTok. Like I know you guys can do it. So you need to get on my path and be doing your lessons. Uh, reading language and arts. Reading and language arts. We have week three. Where's my pen? Week three. Um, that's this one. So we're still with this reader. Benchmark. Okay, your earth changes. If for some reason you lost it, which you shouldn't, but if you did, it's going to be available to you guys on um, Benchmark. So I'll show you guys how I do that. You're going to go to Clever. And then you're going to click on this app, Benchmark Education Company. And it looks different for me because I'm a teacher, but um, once you guys get there, there will be a, an assignment pushed out to you. So it'll look something like, this is unit eight. When you guys pull it up, it will look like this. It's an ebook form. It's not the same as having, you know, a hard copy, but um, you'll be able to flip through the pages. <clears throat> So like if it says for Monday next week, Mount Vesuvius, letter from Pliny the Younger, pages 22. So you could flip through here and go to page 22. Mm, almost there. Right here. So you're going to be reading those pages and then filling out this packet. So there's um, one or two questions for writing and responding to the questions for um, the stories for that week. Um, back to the checklist. We have Scholastic News. We're celebrating our history. So we have an article about um, a girl, Amara, and her tribe that she is from. And then um, there's another article about keeping animals in captivity in zoos. And then uh, Slime in Space, paint, a Pig That Paints, and then David Pilkey, Dave Pilkey, he is the author of all the Captain Underpants um, books. There's some information about that. And then 
if there's questions on the back. And then remember, complete sentences, please, when we're filling out all of these questions. If I'm responding to something, I need to put the question in my answer. A lot of you guys are not getting full credit because you're not doing complete sentences. So make sure you're doing that. Okay. Um, so that's Scholastic News, the first three pages. So those are available on Google Classroom. So that's right here. They're not available yet. I'll post them for um, this. I'm going to write that down before I forget. Scholastic News on Google Classroom. Okay. Um, then the next thing on our checklist, we have number 10 is our two points weekly. You need to have 30 points by Friday, May 1st. So make sure you're getting on tumble books if you don't have books to read from and you're taking your tests. If you're not taking tests, you need to be submitting book reports with your work when you turn it in. Every time you pick up more work, you need to be turning in work from the previous week because we're going to be grading this and that's what your grades are based on is anything that you turn in. So if you're not turning in anything, you're not going to have any grades and that's not good. Um, science number 12, your science book, chapter five, lessons three and four. So these are the two lessons. We want you to read through these pages. And then you're going to complete pages 66 and 67. That's these two, front and back. Remember, complete sentences. Um, and then, yeah, these, these two lessons will help answer these questions. That's number 13. And then uh, science spin. So you're going to read about real life zombies. So it's not actually, I guess it is a zombie. Um, this is all about parasites in this small little magazine. So read about how parasites live on animals. When a parasite lives on animals, it's called a host. Um, so on the back side, it says complete page four. So that's right here, this is page four. You're gonna be drawing a picture of um, the life cycle diagram, okay? And then you can use this, you can use the science pages. Um, you're going to be writing, it says, Create, I gotta move this. Create, draw a picture of a host creature that is invaded by your own made up or real parasite on the construction paper provided. So on this piece of paper, you're gonna be drawing a host animal. So it could be made up or not. So I could do, draw a tiger. And then I need to draw a parasite that could be made up or real as well on that tiger. And then I need to, under my drawing, I can make it colorful, make it pretty. Um, I need to write a paragraph explaining how my parasite controls the behavior of the host creature. So what is the parasite doing to the tiger that's controlling its behavior? And you'll learn more about it if you read the science spin. So if you're just writing a bunch of nonsense, you're not going to get full credit. It needs to actually make sense how it's controlling its behaviors. It can't just be a complete made up story. You will not get credit if you do that. Um, and then this is just for the big four award again at the bottom. Make sure you get that signed and everything is has been graded already and it's 100%. If it's not graded, we're, we're not going to do it. We have all this to grade for all of our students and we don't have time to grade the math facts as well. So make sure an adult grades them before and it's 100% if you're going to turn it in and that they have signed below. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'll be doing another check-in for my class um that you guys can fill out each week so i can know kind of what your concerns are and we'll be doing our weekly zoom meetings from um, tuesdays and thursdays at 10 a.m so uh looking forward to talking to you guys then let me know if you guys have any questions